week's episode of The Voice Party is brought to you by Big Boy Raps. Get your car wrapped by some of the most experienced and skilled in the Bay. Big Boy Raps, where the big boys play. You do it. You, you started. All right, now we're good to go. Now we're good right. to go. Welcome, everybody, to The Voice Party. We were at, um... oh, I thought he was doing the intro. Okay, all right, fuck it. Let's just... No, you do the intro. You do it. You do it. This is your okay. show. This is right. your show. <laughs> You do the intro. Leave all this in, by the you way. You do the intro. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Sam, you want to do the intro? Or are you good? <laughs> For real, hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't drank these all right. <laughs> Start. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and girls, all around the world, it's time for another episode of The Voice Party. Beep, 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 beep. All right, all right, all right. We got yours truly, Joaquin Xavier. You got JD, the master comedian. We have Phil on the boards and our amazing guests. Please introduce yourselves. We gentlemen. got Phil, the master boarder over here. My name is Jesus Cruz. I'm Matt Close. I'm Alex Vigano. Ooh. Ooh. And you are? We are at Running Chef Productions, based out of Newark, California, right? Is that what we... Ended? No, no, Fremont. Yeah, Fremont all the way. I didn't like that. Can we start that again? Oh, uh, shit. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Actually, we're based out of Richmond. Can we get that grant? <laughs> Can we get that grant? <laughs> no, yeah, no, right? Well, um, we have some, uh, some... Tequila shots. Tequila shots. Say, explain why. So today, Vicente Fernandez, a very well-known Mexican singer, you know, a ranchera singer, mariachi singer passed away at 81 and he's an icon and when i started listening to chente it's when everyone kind of learned how to drink tequila you know it's very powerful voice very just when you started just just when i started <laughs> <laughs> anyways here's to vicente fernandez que en paz descanse cheers, cheers. el rey cheers. wow so anyways Star. We're going to try to be funny now, guys. <laughs> it's going to be a stretch. Uh, that's good tequila, man. I'm down for another one if you're down. Uh, <laughs> Maybe not well, now. Well, Maybe well, not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was good. We'll do the podcast later. I should have, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, talk a little bit about what you guys do. Uh, uh, running Chef Productions. Right. So Running Chef, I mean, we just, uh, oh, hey, now. Is that, who is that? I, I think uh, we got a bad XLR cord somewhere. I'll I think, try and troubleshoot this. I'm hungry. Sorry. That's my stomach. <laughs> that sounds like, yeah. No, but These it, mics are real sensitive. Yeah. Uh, we're just, you know, collective of, of filmmakers. Um, we've all, we're, uh, Matt and I have been friends since high school. We didn't go to the same high school together, but. Uh, oh, oh hold, on, hold on. Hey. Sorry. All right, continue, continue. Should we just redo it and ha so we can do another shot? No, no, just kidding. <laughs> yes. uh, but yeah, just a group of mm -hmm. filmmakers. Uh, Alex was doing uh, his stuff independently, and Matt was doing his own thing. I was doing my own thing, but then we all kind of came together and, you know, started working together. But Matt and I have known each other since high school, and we've been shooting movies since high school, like running around with, a, you know, VHSC camcorder and little blood, you know, effects and shit like that. Yeah. Were you involved in the Luchadors versus Zombies thing? No, uh, that, no, were you? No, not that one. I could have sworn. Okay, no. no. Yeah. He, you were in the ones with uh, with Mario. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I watched that one. Okay, so you guys have been doing it for a long time now. Right. So what would the first production you think would be the first running chef? Uh, Oot Crime, yeah. probably. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That would have been that one. Uh, we were doing a movie, uh, Matt and I, and uh, we needed a... Uh, an Asian dishwasher, and uh, that didn't that didn't work out. So Matt said, "I know a Mexican guy who can do it." <laughs> well, first, you know, I, I asked my friend Miles to do it. He couldn't do it, so we couldn't think of anyone else. And then we called Ace. <laughs> Very stereotypical. Which one like, was that? Could do? Which? It's called Hoot Crime. Oh, Hoot Crime. Yeah, okay, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, that's the one that started it, right? The the the, one the Running Chef. Yeah, actually, yeah. the logo or the production yeah. like uh, animation comes from that movie, Running Chef. Okay. Yeah, there's a scene in it where. Uh, uh, the chef is sprinting down the street. Yeah, yeah that's what I remember. <laughs> I remember watching that because I I didn't know you did this until we did that one. Uh, the yeah, one, yeah, the, the one we did together. Uh, wrong Juan for the job. Wrong Juan for the yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. JD was in that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's where I met you guys. Yeah, I was like, oh yeah, I remember you. Look, and that man. was that scene was our most viral video on your page on it was on TikTok. On TikTok. <laughs> and I like you look different today. You look like Tom Selleck. Oh, Magnum, thank you. Magnum PI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but no, uh, yeah. So Matt and I since high school we're just you know, running around shooting little horror 
movies were huge with Tarantino, Robert Rodriguez, Marks. Um, I, see, I see that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we would just do little shoot 'em up movies, and uh, and then Matt and Alex met in college, right? Or do you guys know each other? Before? No, I've known Alex for 20 years, and I've been friends with him for five. <laughs> 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 no, we knew each other uh, in high school and uh, actually made some movies back then as well. Alex was shooting some uh, some little shorts as well. I yeah, a little this. VHS camcorder, yeah. two VCR decks, trying to edit them together. Oh, wow. See, Jesus was at the uh, television station, so he had yeah. real editing equipment. So when we went in there, it was just like, oh, my God, this has changed the whole game. Yeah. And then he knew how to do, like, uh, tracking shots, pushing shots. So we were just – we would basically write scripts around what special effect that we could uh, oh, yeah. do. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, yeah, that's the thing. We'd always have, like, someone getting their head blasted off or someone getting their <laughs> neck slit. And that would be the whole script would be revised around that and they would let us like the TV station would just let us do whatever we wanted so we had these really expensive cameras that they used for their news yeah. mm. and we would use them maybe drop them maybe a couple of times like oh man did you drop the camera Jeez. yeah he had us on his uh, he had us on his TV show that was on like the local access and it was a movie that me and my friend Ryan had made when we were like 12 and 13 that was basically like a rip off of Goodfellas and Godfather like when Ryan gave me the script it's like 23 pages long I remember when I read it I was like this is literally the best thing I've ever read in my life <laughs> <laughs> this is this is going to like put us on the mark. We're going to go somewhere. And we made this movie, and there's people shooting heroin. There's hookers getting blasted in the back of the head. <laughs> there's cocaine. And we didn't know anything about drugs. We, you, you know, the, the line of cocaine is like four and a half feet long. <laughs> <laughs> and he showed this on the uh, he showed this we showed on it on public show. access. Yeah. We showed it in high school and almost yeah. got suspended for it. And they made ooh, us talk ooh. to the counselors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but imagine having all that all that. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> It looks like a, extra ooh, shot some there. of your so, work has manifested. In <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's it's so amazing. You have all this power when you're a teenager. Like, oh, yeah. we're on, we're gonna be on TV, and people start recognizing you like locally. You know, and this channel was just in Newark, Fremont. Mm. But yeah, you would go to a safe place. Like, hey, I saw that you guys had the little movie thing. You know, so it was like, oh, you know, you're 16, 17. You feel like, oh, you're a fucking movie star now. Yeah. You're a superstar now. Yeah, but uh, they also and they went to college at Deloney and did theater. And did a movie called Big Fish there, and it was like the big deal of, of the area. Fremont, New Yorker is like it was in the newspaper. Oh, the Big Fish feature, and, and, and I was it so came mad out at, before the regular before the, Big okay, Fish. Okay, I was gonna ask. Yeah. 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 Alex was in the game. Actually, Tim Burton stole okay. my <laughs> my name. But that tells me royalty. That was kicking in. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. But explain Big that because that, that was your first feature, right? Yeah. So they just got uh, um, a new department head at the uh, television station there at Ohlone, and. Uh, and so we got access to what everything. Year was, what year was this? Shit, uh, 99, 2000. And uh, so we just had access to, they had just a new digital video editing system. So, and then they spent a shit ton of money on it. And uh, I had, I got a job there just like looking over things and videotaping board meetings, but I could get the keys to go in there on the weekend. Mm. And so we had all these actors and stuff. We're like, let's write a full length movie and shoot it over the summer. And uh, just real, not knowing anything, just put it all together using all the equipment and taking advantage of it. And uh, the majority of the movie took place at a house party at night, which we learned was a terrible idea to shoot a house party at a house where house parties were typically thrown anyways. Oh, yeah. So you'd have like a three hour window before everyone was completely shit faced to actually make this movie. <laughs> yes. So, you mean you weren't using prop alcohol? No. <laughs> no, because we, you know, you're so pretentious back then, too. You're like, this is method acting, man. Like, oh, yeah. you got to put whiskey in this. And Alex is like, I don't know if this is, you know, the, the best <laughs> idea. I'm just watching the footage and it's. Just <laughs> between the takes, it's just me yelling at people. Will you guys just shut up? Will you guys just, no? Just stand over there. And this is like supposed to be a comedy, and I'm just like, this is the atmosphere that I'm providing because nobody could like yeah. stay still for five seconds. Everyone, so, shut up! And <laughs> now, 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 the behind the scenes crew were they drunk as well? Or was it just the actors? No. Yeah, it was mainly mainly the actors who were okay. getting into character. Or, you know, when there's so much downtime when you're setting up shots, you know, and they're setting up shots. <laughs> that, that's going to be chaos, though, man. Like, I, went, I did this thing with, with Vice where we were in the, uh, like, we were supposed to do 
they basically they had this house in San Francisco where I you remember Kate Willett she used to live she mm-hmm. did shows there mm-hmm. it was like an abandoned church turned into like a whatever a brothel <laughs> and uh that's why I know it <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh uh, that one yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> well they Vice brought like two kegs and like 40 pizzas and they said pretend you're at a party like oh, oh so, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll do your here my method acting where <laughs> <laughs> you start cabin pa- cabin <laughs> <laughs> it turned into chaos like towards the end uh, like, luckily I mean it, it was like a comedy show they were filming but yeah damn the tequila hit so I had to take off my jacket oh damn I'm sorry guys all I seductive have, shit all seductive shit man no you just want to show you guys see my nipples no, no. So you want to show off your mom oh, yeah, dude. Dude. I didn't know you were we were gonna be feuding, fucking man. boyfriends and shit bamba. people know we're in a relationship I haven't claimed you yet on Instagram I'm wearing a Richie shirt yeah. and he's wearing his character yelling Richie. That's this fucker loves me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> this no, this guy, is this I know he's what he's yelling Richie. Yeah, he's yelling Richie. Yeah. That's uh, we I did, hear you, boo. <laughs> we did a uh, like a shot for shot reenactment yeah, on okay. our TV show. Oh there. yeah, and I still think to this day it's one of the best things we've <laughs> ever filmed. That's the one when yeah. people don't you laugh. Footage of that? Oh yeah, it's oh, on yeah. the TV show Yo Mama. That uh, we made like a five part uh, television wannabe television show. Oh wow. Uh, I mean it's right. a, but uh, yeah, there's a fantastic scene where <laughs> but know, even before that like after Big Fish like I was so mad at Matt because I saw this in a newspaper like oh Loney College is you know doing a feature length and I saw Matt Close's name for something it's like you asshole we used to make movies together <laughs> yeah. oh I got this big gig now oh, so you guys weren't weren't in contact at the time no oh, I didn't go to school yeah, he, uh, he decided uh, being an airport security guard would probably be a better <laughs> line better, of better suited <laughs> he's like yeah I'm working loss prevention at Macy's I'm like didn't you steal for Macy's He's like yeah it was, Who better than To prevent Mervin's. Future stealing Than someone who's Done it before Like well, they're whole people, your system If you steal it first Then they can't steal it So yeah. I was like Who are you running after <laughs> It was Mervin's yeah. He had oh, a I'm baton sorry. It was Mervin's we Damn Mervin's I almost said a Mervin's on fire once <laughs> you almost what? Yeah. Shout out to Mervin's we were <laughs> <laughs> On purpose or We were fucking around In the in Oh the, we were just Fucking around yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was in the in As the, one does In the dressing room They had this thing And then we started I don't know what we were doing. What we were thing? In the fitting room? Like a pile of wood? <laughs> yeah. A pile of wood that was like in, in the... Yeah. You know those things where you... Where you uh, was yada, 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 the fire. Was, was this in Mexico? <laughs> was there in, firewood in the dressing room? <laughs> the that was the Mervins and Pinole. <laughs> oh, man. Had a blowtorch? There was wood there? <laughs> They're just fucking around. This place is made out of wood. I had a lighter. Yeah. You know, just, <laughs> that's some Mervin shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. How do you Mervin? <laughs> More of a Ross man myself. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Ross. <laughs> That's I the one I'm burning down. <laughs> Shout out to TJ Merck. <laughs> what, what? Marshalls. Marshalls, yeah. Marshalls. Marshalls. We actually reference Marshalls in one of our shorts, too. Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah. That's how that's how real we are. <laughs> that's how fucking real we are, yeah. bro. Like, that's why wanna... you don't see our movies anywhere in the mainstream, because yeah. we're too fucking we're real. Too... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're scared. Yeah. You guys have everything available on YouTube? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah Running show, Not man. everything. <laughs> well, every, dude, we have like 12 different... Different YouTube accounts. Yeah. 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 Are different. Like this is my serious production. This is my comedy production kind of shit. We but. made a uh, we made a horror film uh, a long time ago called A Time to Be Frank. Two thousand and five. All the audio on it was completely fucked, so we had all the actors re-record. But we did it all inside of one sound booth. So rec- regardless of if it's outside, inside, <laughs> it's oh. but it looks like a really weird French movie yeah. that they hired some actors <laughs> it worked. to dub it over. So it has like like those karate of, movies. Yeah, but no. <laughs> Almost more where it almost has like an art house feel where people are like, so you guys made this, right? Yeah, and like, okay, because this seems like a foreign film. <laughs> and they had most of the script too, and their actors got to make up the rest. Well, it was black and white, right? Yeah, we it shot was it well. What's this we, one called? This one's called a Time uh, to Be Frank. Yeah, Time to Be Frank. It was black and white because uh, we sucked at like lighting and shit like that. So mm. at the end, we're like, hey, you know what? It's black and white now. But that one was fun because, again, it was in the same TV studio where I went to school at. I now work there. I'm a full-time employee. Mm. And at night, because no one lived in the area, I was the only one in Newark. Mm-hmm. Like, we just, hey, we got access to lights, cameras. 
We even used a Comcast vehicle. <laughs> it was owned by Comcast, <laughs> but we just put like white around it, so it just looks like a white van. Yeah, and we got, got. Yeah, and then we splattered it with blood. Yeah, we got blood <laughs> everywhere. You know, our special effect, our, our uh, the engine of our special effects. We had this giant air compressor. Air compressor, yeah. So with that, we could do just so many different things. You know, so you just load up the hose with that, and, poosh, and then blood everywhere. Oh, air compressors are legit for yeah. that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Even yeah. if you don't have one, just have like a two-liter bottle you can step on just yeah. to push the yeah. the blood. Through the tube, or you could do like Phil has this hose. They literally blew on it himself when he did oh, the scene. No. Oh, so blow it into my face. He just the blood. <laughs> so are you sure it was for the movie, or is this is just for fun, dude? This is just what you did for fun. So we did a. We, we were on his TV show. This is back in '97, and we wanted to. Uh, I get, sorry about that, bro. We, this, we've never. Had uh, it's that all good, I man. apologize. We're it's gonna probably edit, Matt. We're gonna edit Phil out of this anyway. <laughs> uh, but but we were on his TV no. show. We we're gonna show how to do a special effect, and that was the Squibs. one. Oh, Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm standing behind the couch with, uh, with you know, blood ready to spit it out. But they're shooting it from a wide. Yeah. So first of all, you can see me. <laughs> you see the commando crawling. <laughs> <laughs> and then it doesn't work. So the blood comes up and then it comes all the way back down and gets all over. <laughs> and it co- got skeeted all over. And then it covers the microphone. So everything. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, there's no dear. commercials. Just like a gunshot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, were, we, were and we told everyone to watch it. You know, we had anyone yeah. who's in the area like, hey, we're going to be on TV. It's like kind of a big deal. Like nothing, you know. <laughs> And then the next day you got to go to school and everyone's like, wow, that was really good. But even awesome. The way that we were going to do it, and, th- and this is a sign of the times, this is 97 before Columbine, uh, you know, we were all students <laughs> and shit. And Mike Graves, the, the scene was, shout Mike was going to Mike Graves. Get, yeah, shout out to Mike Graves. <laughs> Mike Graves was going to get mad at you and he... he took out a fake gun and started shooting him and that's when the effect was supposed to happen but yeah. you could do that back in public access days yeah. oh yeah and I would have a gun bop 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 but we thought it was going to be shot on all these different angles <laughs> no just a wide shot see yeah yeah, yeah it's just a solid wide shot where yeah. you can see everything yeah. different time yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, that's crazy no, you were able to and I, and I talked about this in, uh, one of the last times yeah, I was here I remember that. we used to run around high school with shotguns and shit but they're like, they're, they're like oh they got a camera they're, they're, they're oh, just they're doing their thing yeah, yeah. I, I work at a at a junior college, and the film department uh, had a gun because every, every kid around that age wants to make gun movies and yeah. gangster movies, even though they look like they're 16 and yeah. they're playing Robert De Niro. <laughs> but they had a, a fake gun. Well, it was like a BB gun, but a, no ammo. But they wanted to shoot a scene when a teacher wasn't there. They had helicopters come over, and it made the news and all that stuff because somebody reported on the sideline. None of that would have went went down. Yeah. Back then, but now, like, yeah, you just got to be so cautious about all that stuff. Yeah, but the, the students are still the same. The, the students now are exactly the same we were back then. We yeah. just wanted to make. I don't know what their reference is now, but it was Tarantino kind of stuff yeah. back then. Now they have TikTok to do all that shit. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot more outlets yeah. nowadays. That's yeah. not yeah. sure. You guys are probably the only ones doing this shit in your school too, huh? Back when they were that young, because not well, a lot of well, kids. Well, for our do high that. school, yeah, but obviously, like his, you know, when he his high school had a group like us and his high school. Oh no, yeah, no, us, yeah. just just a couple loser friends then. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, is that what it was? We used to was extra curricular. We used to borrow the cameras from the school to shoot like skate videos. Yeah, but there we were like the only ones doing that shit. And you know what? Uh, and we were doing the, the same. My my uh, my boy Menace was doing that. He was the skateboard guy. Mm-hmm. You know, the fish eyed leg with the skateboards and shit we were more of the backyard wrestling and yeah. and horror movie oh, like, I see. Okay, like okay. side of it but yeah but there wasn't a lot of kids walking around with cameras back then that's what I'm saying no, like, but, no uh, the cameras no. were expensive back then yeah. and that's why yeah. that uh, Jonah Hill movie that he produced uh, 90s no, it was in the 90s early 90s mid 90s mid 90s like it resonated with me it's like yeah. holy shit that was us dude yeah. like <laughs> that's exactly yeah. what we did you just bring your camera everywhere and start shooting everything I mean oh go ahead no it's back then you just had a camera and you're just like okay this scene stop and then start on the next scene you had to get it one take yeah, in order for edited. cut and it's then not. my buddy Scott was like he had two VCRs and he figured out how to like pick up and record so you can do different takes and like actually edit it it was like that's Whoa! Like, yeah, I mean, like to me, they was like a genius. Like he figured out. Well, yeah, and then we could get the the, the high schools. Sometimes they let you make movies instead of having like write reports. Yeah. So my senior year, we made like this <laughs> terrible Vietnam epic, <laughs> but our teacher was a Vietnam veteran. And, you know, we had like the platoon scene, all this stuff, and he's in the back with tears, and it's like, he's like <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever seen. This is oh amazing. no, that yeah, was you know like, slow motion shots of like me opening pages on a book, so it kind of 
looks like that Oliver Stone effect. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but, <laughs> Damn, I, I never. That's I never, so cool. <laughs> yeah, I would never gotten away with that because <laughs> we did one time. We did this thing where we were supposed to either perform or show a film of of, of a reenactment of a. Damn, what was it? I think it was Macbeth, but mm. I did Hamlet. So I got like zero because I t- completely got the you wrong. You said that one. like a McDonald's menu, Macbeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with chicken and Macbeth. Yeah, chicken. That's what I meant. Mac- that's, <laughs> the number, that's the number I, nine. The can Macbeth. I get a Macbeth super size of fries? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we we did something similar uh, at my high school, um, it, except it was Julius Caesar, and Phil. At, we when we had a backyard wrestling thing going on during this time, so I was Phil let me essentially film my project with the ring and everything. So we switched it up to where Julius Caesar, instead of wanting to take over Rome, he was questioning as to whether or not he should relinquish his title for a tournament. <laughs> <laughs> and so in, Brutus and the other betrayers, instead of stabbing in the, in, the, in the back during his speech, they assaulted him with chairs. So it was like, A2 Brute gets whacked. With That's pretty good. And, and like to this day, um, the the high school teacher that you know uh, still uses that as an example for his students are like, take a look at what this kid did like ten years ago. Like, <laughs> you know, that's impressive. What did you shoot with back in the days? Was it uh, like when you were in high school or you? Uh, you well, high what? school was like it had to be VHS for everybody. VHS, VHS, VHS or uh, sometimes you get um, <laughs> eight millimeter, but not the not the film. It was still yeah. a, it was still a cassette tape. Digital eight, yeah, yeah digital eight or high eight. Oh I yeah, think. high yeah. eight, yeah. Do, yeah my, you, do you still have a lot of those? Oh fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He has a, he has a million. I've recently been like capturing all the stuff, like you know his stuff, and you know, it, it, it's it's cool that we still have ac- we still have access to all these old fucking. We, we made this movie once called Knipes, and it was your typical like drug deal gone wrong. But he hired one of his friends. Not hired. Oh, it wasn't he, hired. No, he, <laughs> yeah, he was hired. Yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> we, one of his friends was in the movie, but like. You could tell, like, he was working out some real shit in his head. Cause the line was like... He uh, was an uh, at-risk youth. Yeah, at- ah, say this. So the line was, was like, like, you killed my sister. He's like, you killed my sister, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Her name was Maria Gonzalez. <laughs> Fuck you, fool. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> We're like, Phil, We're like, wow, this guy. So he's an actor. He's like, no, he just got out of a uh, juvenile. Yeah. <laughs> he knew how to cock the gun from the yeah. beginning and everything. Like, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, it was amazing. So, so, so in that field... Himself. Yeah. In that field... He's so raw. <laughs> That's what he was <laughs> in that video class, a uh, TV class that I took in that field, it was a mix of people that actually wanted to be broadcast, yeah. and it was also a mix of the kids that we could get dumped over here, like the at-risk youth. Oh, like, yeah. This was a, like a step in their shit, yeah. and we didn't know that. It was like, oh, this fucking homeboy is going to be part of our <laughs> shit. So you, luckily, I'm Mexican, too, so I was able to like to... Yeah. Mm. yeah, like we wanted to write more shit for him, but then he was gone, you know? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, he got it all fun, out of his yeah. chest that day. But yeah. that was actually like a... It, it was a completed movie from start to finish, and, and with the nice camera and angles and we did all this shit you know yeah with his friend doing the uh, like the worst Al- the worst best Al Pacino like oh yeah he was, it was like, like hey, Nicholas, Tony, come here. Nicolas Cage playing Al Pacino in Scarface yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? oh my goodness but it, it, it was so fun back then because you just shot to sh- like you didn't really have a script for fun Every, everyone was improvising their shit and the way that you ended your movie is like oh shit the battery's about to die yeah. we're about to run out of tape <laughs> alright let's you shoot yeah. him you shoot him you know yeah there'd always be like a Mexican standoff in there. Yeah. Area. And there was no like a uh, end destination. Like, no. who are we going to show this to? We're just going to show it to each other. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's basically it. Like, yeah. There's no film. Well, it's like, we can't show it to our morning. parents because no. they're going to. You know, yeah. like, but, no. but we had the option, like, you know, at least me, I uh, had the option of showing it to fucking Newark. The whole city of Newark got to <laughs> yeah. see all this shit. Dude. It'll, it'll, be a good, it'll be a good thing if, if whoever dies first. Yeah. <laughs> show all that footage yeah. to the family. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a lit ass funeral with all this footage no i don't know if you ever thought about that yeah. but every day, every day I, no. I think a lot of going back to the whole fucking columbine thing i think everything changed after that yeah, let's go back to the columbine. Wow. No, let's light things up with columbine no, because there wasn't wow. the, there wasn't the same freedom anymore wow, so it's back yeah, to the inquisition true, yeah. Yeah. after that all our shit started getting banned from public access like no you can't do that anymore yeah. you can't do this you can't yeah. do, anything but, with guns is cool but it was like from day and night like shit changed like that yeah yeah it was fucking it was a trip. Recently, at the school where I work, um, some kid. Oh, I heard about that. Wrote, wrote a note uh, in, I think it was the bathroom stall. Something like that, yeah. And it said that uh, there was going to be a shooting on the 10th. And so 
And I mean, to be frank, he was talking about I, film. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no. To be to be frank, we're an inner city school. We're not really that type of school. You know what I'm saying? But better to be safe than sorry. So when the day came, all the after school program activities were immediate. Were, you know, were canceled. A lot of the teachers called out. I think we only had like a hundred students or something actually show up. Maybe 150. And the ones that were strapped. And. Uh, and we were fine. Like, if anything, it was a very light day, and <laughs> like no one died. What do you know? Hey, um, it's short day today, guys. There was a shooting. Uh, it's a minimum for, day. It's a minimum day. There's only sandwiches available today. No pizza. Yeah. Shit. Shit. Well, you got to shoot it up today. That's why I showed up to school. Yeah. I'm sorry, bro. But if anything, they should have set the date for like the day before we went on vacation, because then we'd have an extra day of vacation. Three day weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plan your shootings better. Uh, well, that's like you remember when planking. we did one bad day. We did yep. a short film about this kid who's pushed over the edge and fucking shoots up a school, right? And it won an award, but one festival like <laughs> refused to show it because they thought we were like Inciting, condoning, condoning school condoning. shootings. Yeah. And so like every time I show it after that, I make a little speech. I'm like, you guys get that's a sad ending, right? <laughs> okay, good. You're not supposed to be glad he did that. <laughs> Everybody gets up and applauds. Laughing at the wrong parts. Wow, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> have you have you um well this is like an example of why it was good to have cameras on at all times one of the days where my buddies had the cameras they they uh <clears throat> they like tackled one of my homies for skating and they like beat him up the security guards like were putting their their you know like a cop with four guys on this skinny black dude we were, right. and we shot it all like Privately, we were like mm. holding the camera down, and and we were able to use that, you know. Did, did, but was did, it a camcorder, like actual camera? Yeah, it was a yeah. camera. Yeah, yeah. I was nice. holding it like this. Yeah, it was hella hard. It was heavy, so I was like, "Oh God, please, please finish already." Right, right. Because <laughs> it was heavy. Just no one conscious. Yeah, it's like yeah. they'll get tired eventually. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> cops. So like we always had the camera for for yeah, and we have a bunch of stuff like that that we were able to use, you know. For, right. So that, have you ever thought about putting it together some? Some of that for like a project like that, just all this old footage. Like a, sad like a documentary history of Jesus. Like, uh, my <laughs> life history. <laughs> all the time, and then we look at the old footage and we go, uh, yeah. Because <laughs> oh, I'm sure you on. have a lot of unfinished projects too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, that, yeah. That should be my, my nickname, Unfinished Project. <laughs> <laughs> That's when we know it's time to leave Alex's house when he busts out the unfinished movies and <laughs> watching the outtakes. Man, I don't want to see this. <laughs> something you want to finish, yeah. and now you look older, you could make it like. A, well, no, even. Dude, yeah, it would be dope. I don't know. I'm just thinking. <laughs> we finally finished our movie, <laughs> 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 it's still five minutes long. But we that shit. Not for me, dude. I, I found a lot of footage of me and saying the most uh, fucked up, raunchy shit, racist shit. And I'm like, oh, nah, shit. nah. Yeah, and that's just the last movie. Shout out Peanut Butter and Zombies. <laughs> I grew up in different <laughs> times. <laughs> Like, what do you mean? Wait, elaborate. <laughs> no, it's Elaborate like, on what you were no. saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got to do it a shot or... <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, like, yeah, because you're like, you know, uh, you would do accents, you know, oh. of different races. You would, you know, yeah. you don't, you don't, you would do characters that would, right now, would be like, wait, you can't do that's like a heavy stereotype. Well, I, used to, I used to have a bunch of videos of me doing stand-up like 2012, right. and I had to delete them all. Cause, <laughs> I mean, that's not that long ago, but like, holy shit, you know. Back yeah. then, you would get nominated for an Oscar for doing that. <laughs> I know, I know, yeah. <laughs> you know, that was yeah. like that and was Mel the Gibson era. Presents. You just got to do it like Disney and Warner Brothers be doing with all those old uh, cartoons, where it's like in 1943 yeah. it was a different world, <laughs> and Mickey Mouse sometimes said things that weren't <laughs> okay. <laughs> some of these people were This one's gonna say like, in 1997. He had just come from Mexico. He didn't understand. <laughs> Two weeks ago was a different time. He was watching a lot of Disney programs. Columbine hadn't happened yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of his autobiography. <laughs> and it's just be like, hey, hey, yet. <laughs> hey Jesus BC before Columbine. <laughs> He's going to be working a lot of Columbine material into his new stand up. Yeah. I'm going to bring it back down. <laughs> Have a screening, a screening in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the new 9-11. Back in oh, my day, school shootings were done properly. <laughs> 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 
The kids actually give practice a, aim. Not give a went. fucking two week warning yeah. you know, like that kid did. Yeah, all cryptic and shit. No, they're like. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. It's like they wore trench coats to conceal things. Dude, yeah. I, re- I remember like Looking how like the Matrix. They had style. They had style. <clears throat> but they even did. the news, I remember the news just demonizing music right when it happened, dude. Oh, yeah. Marlon Manson. Because they were, yeah, not only that, Eminem, but yeah. while they were showing the live footage of the students running out and stuff, they were playing uh, Rammstein. Du ah, in the background. Yeah. This is a uh, Hey wait, 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 is Stein. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yeah. This is like the Rammstein. Did play a banjo? <laughs> what song is that? I didn't know Rammstein played a banjo. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is Jesus' Duhas. way of saying yeah, he's a Duhas, far, boy. Uh, juggalo, you know? <laughs> I was a juggalo. You were a juggalo? I was a juggalo. Uh, I was a backyard wrestler. Of course I was a juggalo. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, were you a juggalo? No, no, I asked no, you. I'm sorry. No, he just, he just, that was a he just had the pretty hair. He just had the pretty hair. He looked hair. like one of the, 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 what's it called? The Columbine shooters back in the days. He did with the That's long That's racist. Hair. No. <laughs> I'm surprised he, at you. But he can say it now. Hey, you, I mean, you, you, you know what? Like, I remember watching the news, and when they started doing the music coverage, I was like, oh. <gasps> Thank God it's not rap. <laughs> Thank God there was some rap. There's yeah. one less bad mark rap has on it. Yeah, Woo, they, blamed, okay. they blamed heavy metal right off the bat. Yeah. Well, it's mental illness if it's not rap. Of course. <laughs> it's like they'd have, it was like, whew, not a single mention DMX or Snoop Dogg. I was like, oh, oh one them, one them. <laughs> So, what you guys got? Any new projects that you're wor- currently working on? Uh, all the time. <laughs> yeah, don't ask us about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Next question. Yeah, what else you want, bro? <laughs> it's probably shot already. We just haven't done editing yet. Well, I mean, I'm sure in the pandemic you haven't done much, though, right? No, I think we did more. No, actually, no, no, no. No. Oh, I do. I do remember though when uh, uh, Link. Well, I won't say where I worked. Where I worked. They, <laughs> Shout they, out MySpace. <laughs> uh, they said like, okay. He works for Zune. <laughs> Zune. No one can show up to the. They're like, you have to leave now. We we can't work from you know the building now. Like everyone. Almost an evacuation. Really? Like, yeah, we're gonna work. It's when work from home started. <laughs> that day, I sent him a message like, "Hey, dude, my work just sent me home. We got all this time to film." Like, and he started laughing. Like, yeah, because there's a fucking pandemic, dude. <laughs> I, don't, I don't watch. The it, news. Doesn't, it doesn't mean free time. Like, hey, dude, I don't have to be at work on Monday. Now you want to shoot something? <laughs> See, they sent them home before the pandemic. They didn't even send you guys home for a shooting. <laughs> <laughs> no, they really didn't. <laughs> Like half, half, Dude, half day, half day, half day. Leave your shit there and yeah. run out this building Dang. right now. Really? No. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Holy shit. You know, when I was working construction <laughs> during the, when the pandemic started, and they, they just told us to get stay away from each other, and like it was <laughs> impossible. <laughs> I know. Hey, hey, keep distance from each other. Okay. Yeah. There was twenty cases. In was it possible for you? Because you're very graduated. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> massaging people's ears and shit during lunch. Yeah. It's impossible for, especially Brother after shows. shots. Yeah. Okay. Looks Are nice. you okay, buddy? <laughs> Trust me, I was at the Christmas party for the boys. <laughs> <laughs> this fool was like, this is a Me Too intervention. Right now. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, your shoulders are a little tight. <laughs> I mean, hey, Sue. Those aren't my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Under the mistletoe. <laughs> a spiritual experience. Yeah. Massaging Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> it's healing you. It's doing nothing for me, dude. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> I think that'll get some clicks on YouTube. Uh, I hope yeah. so. The Pope called. He has some questions. <laughs> <laughs> you you have a, a side project that I kind of want to ask you about. Because you asked me for a shooting. Uh, you wanted to shoot the um, back where that, that little thing. Oh, my, for, the, uh, for the music video. Um, for the music video. That we're going to try to use a lot. They got rid of all that, dude. I don't know if I told you. Mm-hmm. I did. Well, I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got rid of all that. That would have been awesome. We actually did shoot something there before it all got taken yep. away. We did unhealthy comedian baby. <laughs> <laughs> Upcoming documentary. Upcoming yeah. documentary. So we got to take advantage of that while it was still there. Yeah. 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 That's why they say he who hesitates masturbates. You got the early trick gets to dick. You can't just wait on shit like that. <laughs> So, you, w- w- I want to ask you about that. Uh, you have a band. Yeah, yeah. We, a uh, buddy of, I, of mine that I've been playing with for like 20 years, we just decided, we used to make just goofy songs where we would just, uh, you know, yeah. get screwed up and, and uh, all night and just make up lyrics on the spot. And then we were, it was kind of a cop out because we were like a little insecure about actually doing something real. Mm. And then so we just decided to 
to make a space odyssey about a man named Chet Johnson who drives into space because we wanted to go serious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just going to, yes, going to space. Serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but we've been uh, we just concentrated the last two years on just on just recording and 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 we released one album and we're working on our second right now and nice. the Dirty Skies on Spotify and YouTube uh, music and all your favorite platforms. I follow, I follow you guys. Thank you. Smash Appreciate that subscribe it. button. Shut up. Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> Smash Shut up. To like. Brent, Brent Shabinsky. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I've been super into that. And it's kind of good. Film has a way of breaking your heart <laughs> where you get all these big aspirations. We're going to go to Cannes. We're going to do this. You know, it's going to be huge. And then, you know, you kind of have to hype yourself up to go through all the work it takes to make a movie. And then it doesn't go to Cannes. And then you kind of like... You know, you, you you chef for a while, or, <laughs> you, or you do yeah. you do so, and then you kind of like you get the courage up to get, to get yeah. back on it again. Mm-hmm. But you kind of have to like it kind of goes in waves. You, you get yeah. a ton done, and then you kind of have to like <laughs> detox for a little while and get inspiration too. Yeah, totally. Yeah, because then you also start noticing all your characters are saying the same words over and over and over and over again. You're like you start seeing the same patterns. Yeah. Mm. Then you hate yourself. Yeah, and then you. Oh, well, I hate myself all the time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hate yourself more. That's more. That's the trick. There's always lower you can fall. That's the beauty That's of life. That's very true. There's no such thing rock as rock bottom. bottom. No, 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 no. If there is a rock, there's something you you're You hit it hard to. enough, you're cracking through, I guarantee you. <laughs> Did you guys actually submit to Cans? Making the meet the attempt? Uh, no, I, I did a. a you said no. <laughs> you just said oh, we didn't get into. You didn't pl- No, because we we go like we, we can't can. even. You know. So, no, we a, did like Toronto Film Festival was like a, a big one. Kansas is like Hollywood, so we try to get the a, ones that actually let independent films okay. go in and stuff. Yeah, I just mentioned fair. Cans because I want to sound bougie. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Toronto had, though, man. Like yeah, yeah Toronto's like huge, and you know, Sundance, Sundance is even a little bit more Hollywood. We submitted now, but, to Sundance, and we're you know. Yeah, they give for fifty dollars, you get a personalized email telling you to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> That's accurate. Yeah, that is accurate. <laughs> You get accepted to like these film festivals, but there's like 12 people there. <laughs> or or we, we actually got accepted into a film festival called the New York Independent and Video Film Fest that is under mm. allegations. Because <laughs> they literally accept. We thought we were going to New York telling people, we're like, it's not a big deal, but we actually are in a film festival in New York. <laughs> and you go there and you realize anyone who paid the entrance fee gets in. Because you're watching it and there's like the date and time stamp on the video and the filmmaker's back there and he's obviously an insane person. <laughs> you like the movie man yeah <laughs> Finan- then, financially backed by jeffrey well, epstein <laughs> this, is, this is how bad you know this film festival is the one we were at the year we were there the room won best feature oh wow yeah. <laughs> oh, no. uh, we showed our movie there and it was uh it was an experience we got to go to new york right yes yeah. and we said no, we got was, into uh, a film festival in new york yeah this in manhattan hey what, what was that yeah. movie called alex go uh, going home I yeah think. going home go yeah. Bra- brag the fuck out of that newark oh. event, huh? <laughs> yes like we were in yeah. nyc for NYC. a festival, man. Sorry, guys. Uh, we have to go to New York and uh, watch our film. I, I can't come to, well, I can't come to a barbecue this weekend. Yes. I'm going to New York to show my film. I didn't even invite you to a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the bar, you know, what can I get you to drink? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't drink I'm right sorry. now. I'm going to New York to show a film. And then I remember there was a there was a party there where they were going to have Harvey Keitel like, teaching you about filmmaking. You show up. It's not Harvey Keitel. It's Abel Ferreira. Which is, is kind of a deep dive into New York independent filmmaking you know yeah. and this guy's drunk as fuck and it's like oh, noon oh. and he's showing his movie that's got iced tea in it in the back yelling at everybody why aren't you watching my goddamn <laughs> someone's like hey uh, can you give us some advice about filmmaking yeah fuck you that's my advice I'm busting my balls up here for you fucking assholes I was like this is good lessons though I'm feeling like the director of Driller Killer is definitely teaching me something here. every one of those seminars is the same question how do you get the mo- money to make the movie yeah <laughs> and he says by holding some seminars and charging 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> you all three went to New York for that? No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. He was still an uh, airport security guard. <laughs> I don't go. <laughs> you should have been go, able to fly for free then, I don't right? go past the Hayward Airport, bro. <laughs> you, were working, you were working the airport security? Yeah, I was I patted them down. As well. <laughs> <laughs> don't you get fly This was pre-9-11 though? after Columbine. Hey, I was like, hey, this fool's got weed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, box cutters, you're good. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> 
What did you get fired for? You said bomb. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that a medieval sword of German? Yeah, go ahead. You're talking about stand up. I fucking bombed last night at the airport security. Oh, oh yeah, I can't do that shit, man. <laughs> I got fired for leaving my post because I wanted to go say hi to in, um, Violin J from Insane Club. <laughs> 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 he wrote by my line and he left he had a book of his autobiography that obviously he was still working he had all these notes the life and time yeah pretty much and then he dipped he forgot his book and I just left my fucking post I'm like fuck America oh. bro I gotta go tell Violin J he left his book now. I'm a juggalo come here yeah. <laughs> I was doing wrestling at the time too I was a wrestling promoter and I was like hey dude I do wrestling cause he has a wrestling promotion yeah, yeah. as well yep. yeah. did absolutely nothing for him he just got me fired from fucking TSA but whatever hey, you know what maybe that's the best thing that ever happened yeah. to you. Uh, I don't know, Exactly. Man. I could have been How a manager by now. How old were you? Uh, was 22. So that was, was the late 90s. Late 90s. Yeah. Oh, no, no, 90s. early 2000. <laughs> early 2000. Early 2000. Oh, my God. Four score. And he still had a full beard. <laughs> yeah. The first Bush was president. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the tequila was kicking in. I'm fucking sweating. <laughs> why are you sweating, bro? Because I, I put the jacket on. I know back why. Because yeah, it got hot, and then I put it back on. I'm like, I, I mean, I shit, know. I thought we were having one more. I don't know. Yeah. This yeah. isn't a bit, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. <laughs> I thought you cared about this singer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this singer. That's what we'll start over there. Oh, oh man. <laughs> So, anyways, yeah, 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 no, sorry, um, I got distracted with his, uh, with his <laughs> a lot of pressure right here. A lot of pressure here. Um, right, that's enough, lick it. Oh, hey now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Just trying to hear. Pour me a half. Pour me a half. Yeah, we'll see. Pour me whole. <laughs> pour me whole. Pour me whole. Oh, pour me whole. Got too drunk. <laughs> oh shit, that one. Yeah, there you go. This one goes in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys missed it, but he spilled the first shot. Uh, uh, but to true fashion, he what, did spill it for Chente, though. So. Do, you, do, you guys, do you guys know Chente's music? Yeah. I've, I've been a chef for almost oh, 20 yes. years. Oh, yeah. So. I forgot. Uh, I'm going to say yes, so I won't be mocked. Okay. <laughs> By the way, um, well, I'll, I'll do it after you this do, shot. You do, you do, you do, you do your chip. Salud. 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 Jeez. Ooh. That's good tequila. That's a sip. You all right? I was going to yeah. say, Matt, uh, if, since I've known Matt, he's always had all the Mexican jobs and I've had all the white people jobs. We talked about that. You're, yeah. like, you're, you're working as I was a, I was a landscaper and a furniture mover with my friend Ryan. Shout out Ryan Hammond. <laughs> it's like the whitest person alive. <laughs> and we'd be in these rich neighborhoods mowing lawns and people drive past and they're just looking going, wow. Oh, something wrong here. That's the whitest Mexican I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Canelo Steel's over here mowing the lawn. <laughs> Got a Toyota Corolla. He puts the <laughs> he puts the lawnmower in the back of <laughs> And I work like TV stations and tech yeah. companies and it, shit. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's like a, t a t sitcom where you guys swap lives. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do it. <laughs> it's like, hey, Matt, you want to come and shoot? I'm fucking tired, motherfucker. <laughs> I, I got real work that to do. That should be a skit, man. You guys man. swap lives for a day. Yeah. <laughs> you no, I'm cool with my life, bro. Yeah, no, no, I'm, saying, <laughs> I'm saying as a skit. Like, <laughs> No, you have to do it for real. Well, the only time he's ever done, he played a he played a dishwasher in the one movie. That's the closest. That's he the closest came. he's ever came. And right? my sous chef was watching like he's doing it all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you suck at being a mess. How the dishes bro. get dirtier? <laughs> <laughs> that fool's taking another break, man. Come on. <laughs> Mandatory fifteen minute break. <laughs> I know my I know my rights. I saw that. What was that called? Uh, I got fired from a construction job because I knew my rights. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of what, what do you mean? Say, elaborate on that. Oh, my friends got me a job. My friends were on talking. It was actually after I got fired from TSA. That's where I went into construction. <laughs> and if you know me, I can't do any manual work for shit, dude. The, the shoveling in the uh, movie. That was real. Was real. That was I saw, real. Yeah. 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 Was like, this Wrong is one acting. for the job. Yeah. Look it up. This is beyond too. method acting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But okay. since everyone else was undocumented, I was the only legal guy there. When we didn't get our check on time or when it would bounce, I was the only one that was like, hey, dude, my fucking shit bounced. And it was like, shh. <laughs> <laughs> Manana, he'll get it tomorrow. He'll get it tomorrow. Like, oh, he's got my money now. <laughs> <laughs> got fired immediately. <laughs> you got was, fired for that? This was too mouthy. <laughs> oh, damn. No, no you were working I got for fired. The... I got fired because I sucked at the fucking yeah, okay, job. Okay, okay, okay. Jesus Cruz, shout out to same <laughs> check cashing. <laughs> <laughs> Pay me my money. Pay, ain't it? Cash, Pay. Cash, cash and go. Yeah. By the way, um, you being into crypto, uh, I was, I'm actually oh, yeah. just going to 
do the proposition here. What about a payday loan for cryptos? <laughs> if you lose your ass, we'll do like we'll do a, a, a loan thing. Oh, there's all sorts of degenerate stuff that? on crypto. All, all this could be a skit. No by problem. The way. All this could be a skit. Cash and go Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> Loans up to two fifty five. Yeah. Crypto to cash. Crypto to cash. Yes, so there you go. <laughs> Write it down. We're giving away our edit this shit out, bro. How many? How many of your ideas come up with just bullshitting? All of them. Yeah. You ever sit down and have a serious with a fucking board presentation? <laughs> it's like uh, no. we sit down, do. you know. I think we we do sit down to write, you know what I yeah. mean? And by that I mean drink and smoke weed. But yeah. no, but we really, you know, you sit down. You maybe get like one and a half, two hours if you're lucky, okay. and then it starts to kind of, you know, tear apart rapidly thereafter. But I, you know, we have, we have serious writing, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, took a class on how to write for a writing class on how to write a, th- you know, the structure and the proper proper structure, and you try to write the outline first and mm-hmm. and I never write that way. I've tried to write that way. It's not working. It's just kind of like, oh, I wonder what happens if this guy does this and then just kind of see where it goes and then it, and then just try to formulate it yeah. afterwards. But do, do you ever start something without a script? Uh, at least, at least like at least like an outline that's good of what you want. We've well, done yeah. With well, I mean, film you, you got to know where the, the yeah. cameras are yeah. and and you know so if, if there's going to be an improvised scene uh, you got to plan that out ahead of time to cover it. You want to have the safety of lines if you're going to improvise. I think that. a lot of times what you do, you know, you film the lines, you get the good takes, and yeah. then you let the actors kind of okay, go yeah. off. But it's funny sometimes when you do that and you put someone on the spot, they're just sort of like, they just get, you know, like there's comedians yeah. that won't be named that we've done movies yeah. with where you're like, all right. Oh, I've heard. JD had them yeah. All of the comedians. <laughs> <laughs> but you're like, go ahead and start, you know, just I riff a little the, bit. I stick to the script. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that... You know, and I'm still waiting for my check to cash too. <laughs> go to check and go. Yeah, you gotta go, go to check and go. Crypto go. Crypto go. Fire him quick. <laughs> Crypto go. So, cuz. Hey, listen, my mom. My mom actually gave him twenty five dollars to make his movie, and he never. Yeah. She's never given me shit. She I did twenty five. Yeah, I had a GoFundMe. Uh, she was the only one. <laughs> I completed this trailer that Alex shot, and. Uh, Shout out Meredith Close. <laughs> yeah. And I had this little GoFundMe and I, I made like a four hundred dollars. Never made the damn thing, kept the four hundred. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, well, that his mom good. donated. And she, he's like, she don't even fucking give money to me. Well, we had some uh, San Jose. Uh, there was some San Jose rappers in yeah, it, some San Jose metal kids. bands, and then yeah. I started working in San Jose, and I get recognized by these fools. They come in, they're like, hey, he was the racist guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, hey man, you were good. <laughs> the other guy's like, yeah, a little too good. <laughs> oh, where's your inspiration? I'm like, listen, to yeah. hey, that's, Seuss Cruz. That's your thing. Huh? He's always putting you as a racist white. Yeah, guy. always makes me the racist white. We, racist we had a guy. showing, a screening, and the yeah. person who was in. Introducing was like, yeah, we're gonna watch a movie about Matt, and and he's a racist. <laughs> he's a racist. Look at him. He's a racist. I didn't even know, but he's a racist. And then, so we do All right, a, enjoy the movie. <laughs> we, we do a uh, we do a screening, oh my God. screening of the same the same collection of films, and we tell him we go, hey, like lighten up on the old Matt's a racist thing. <laughs> Comes up, goes, okay, for the next movie they say. Don't say he's a racist, but everyone, Matt's a real kid. <laughs> like, come on, Matt's man. a racist. <laughs> <laughs> was like, We're going to name this episode. <laughs> Racism racist. was Matt. That's a racist. <laughs> That's a racist parentheses before Trust and me, after Columbine. We're going to get clicks and views. Yeah. Oh, you get a lot of it. And his mom's going to send us $25. Yeah. <laughs> Most Matt racist never. guests we've ever had on the show. <laughs> 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 Say something racist right now, so I can, <laughs> so I can uh, use that as a clip. It's a clip. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta go. Tell us how you really feel about Mexicans. Uh, you work with these motherfuckers all the time. Wonderful, man. wonderful they, human beings. They stink. <laughs> uh, they <laughs> this guy, this guy's worse. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I know in kitchen Spanish the first title is a is a shout out and a thanks to all the uh, all the cooks and chefs that yeah. I worked for you know oh, whose kitchen was that your kitchen uh, no we uh, that was a friend of his owns a restaurant in Livermore that was we that shot rebel, there rebel in uh in Livermore. Okay. Shout out to the Gia. But, Did you ever make a second part to that? Because that was good, man. Mm-hmm. I could no, watch more of that. Yeah, we were thinking about it. You know, we were talking yeah. about, you know, it's always the, the, the talk about, you know, like doing something longer. You know, I got a lot of, you know, years spent in a kitchen. So I think doing something. There's so know, much that you could do with a kitchen. I actually show. wrote a, um, a restaurant pilot that I lost. And thankfully, Alex <laughs> still has a copy of that would be. Um, Kitchens are hard, though, because oh, so just buzzes. to get the permission to work. And then it's like, you, yeah, you 
can come here after 3 a.m. to like 5 a.m. <laughs> yeah. And then, by the way, we're not going to turn off the refrigerator and these things. It's just really it's noisy. Yeah. 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 So it, it, they're always a, a big challenge. Well, and then you know you, you you can't like turn in the heat on, for example, and you got all these lights and cords and oh, so yeah. actually making you know when we did Oot Crime, you know we had the, someone blowing bubbles to make the the water look like it's bubbling because yeah. we have to dunk the guy's face in and he mm-hmm. doesn't want to dunk his face in boiling water. So you know no method <laughs> actors these days. Back, yeah, these what, a snob, what a snob. Yeah. Back in my day. Yeah. <laughs> Before Columbine. Before Columbine. Before. BC. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's that's the ep- that's the name of the episode. <laughs> yes, please. I agree with that. I like. That. <laughs> I prefer the per- original Before title. Before Matt was racist, <laughs> <laughs> and still is. Yeah. But going back to like using comedians yeah. and using people, like you know. Especially Alex and I, we're it's, it's hard we're to work. Techni- with well, we're technical, you know. Yes. We, we, yeah. we know how to use cameras and lighting yeah. and all that shit and that. Not mad, but <laughs> not at all. But bringing in friends, like visionary, you can't have like a, a full cast of all actors. Yeah, you know, at least I have, and I know you. What do you mean? You can't have what? A well, I full mean, you cast. Can he chooses not? To. Yeah, no. I, well, I mean, I'm a can. big fan of actors and people who know what they're doing. No, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. But Seuss is like, I got this guy at a bar. He drinks there all day, <laughs> but he's free on Saturday. Yes, but but it ends up. Working like that's what I'm saying. Like you know, it, it's okay to bring in people. That's why yeah. about you, like other comedians. I'm a serious you know. actor, though. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, you got picked because you're a headshot. Definitely. We had okay. we did a a, a, sh- a trailer for a, a short called uh, Day Workers of the Living Dead. So it's like oh, I remember know, that. Yeah, that's know, the one guard. my mom gave twenty five dollars yeah. for him not to make. <laughs> but you know, what? the most Mexican looking dude in there yeah. was actually a, a white Irish dude with red hair that we put a wig and makeup <laughs> on and shit. And it was like, hey, who's that Mexican guy you guys got? Well, he ain't. This is a dude that I drank with at the oh, bar. Wow. That's how I know him. It's like his zombie impression is fantastic. No, he's just drunk. <laughs> yeah. oh. I'll, I'll say this, though. They, someone, I forgot who said this, but it was like a good director, a good filmmaker can make any non-actor look good on camera. So what are you trying yeah. to say, a good, bro? A good director. Hey, here, good here's director. the deal. If you get a non-actor on camera, you have to dedicate all your attention into making Make sure, sure coaching <laughs> and getting it and covering it and all that stuff. And then your attention is nowhere else. Yeah. So you can't give notes to the other actors. You can't really worry about the camera. So you can get a great performance yeah. out of it. But if you add multiple people don't know what they're doing, you're basically teaching them on the spot. You're babysitting. Yeah. So, I mean, mm. yeah. So you, you can know, definitely get great performances. But if you have more than one person who doesn't know what they're doing on the set, it, it, it can be a major problem. And even if you have one person on the set, then you're basically just saying to the other actors, you're on your own. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you have like, nothing to work with. <laughs> well, because I can't concentrate on you. Yeah. got to concentrate on the yeah. weakest link at all times, right? No, I, I totally get that. Well, we did a, a short film a couple of years ago called Snipe Hunt. And me and Joaquin have worked together so much. We have like director, actor shorthand. So sometimes my notes are like, remember the time we did the, the fucking thing where the shit didn't work, but you f- fucking do that. Yeah. And he'll know exactly what I mean. <laughs> and then we had our other friend who I don't work with that often. So I had to like really devote a lot of energy to try and shape a performance out of it. Whereas with him, it's like three words and he knows what I mean. Yeah, I've, I've been acting so, so doggone long. I've been on stage. I've been in front of Phil's camera. And the other guys are great voice actor he just being on camera and doing the voice acting thing are two different things but every now and then you could get a non-actor and they have like natural like when we did that episode of black suits that young lady that we worked with Oh my goodness! Like what? to this day, I show that to people like, "Hey, she's got something." Oh, Ryan really got yeah. Yeah, she was great. We, we used to do Evan Show Go to Work Fitness, and we do that from like like six to eight months out of the year, and the rest of the time we work on our own shit. So we we wrote this like web series based on the Men in Black, but the way our scheduling worked out, we were only able to crank out like an episode a year. <laughs> so by the time you get to the end of it, everybody's like a hundred pounds heavier and five years older. <laughs> they caught nudity so <laughs> <laughs> there's there's one episode where like one scene was shot the year before and like they get out of a completely different car than they were just sitting in and they're all heavier and yeah it, it that actually you, sounds kind of dope it was it was, it was a struggle to make that happen you know when I uh, oh my god that's a that's a skit right there that's a that was one of my first 
Uh, it's probably like one of my third. Oh, actually, you were in this. The, that film we were in. The first, the one I met you through. I the can't remember the name. Uh, the oh, the uh, Hot Latin Boys 69. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. You guys, uh, you know, that was realistic. There's believable. sequel coming you, out. You were, you were in that? No, no, I watched oh, it. Okay, I'm no, just sorry. a fan. You he know. hate yeah. watched it. You <laughs> racist. Is it, are, you being, are you being serious? You didn't see the announcement? No, I don't. No, no. okay. was, he was no. a racist character. <laughs> <laughs> what are you boys doing? <laughs> Get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> sprayed you guys with a hose. I remember yeah. that scene. Yeah, that was great. He pepper sprayed me in the in the protest. Yeah. yeah, that was improvised, you know. But I was feeling it. <laughs> no, but that that was. Uh, I usually only did like extra work. I mean, you know, that's usually what I do that day. Jesus considers all work had, extra. <laughs> <laughs> you hella extra, bro. Well, remember my scene? I had like with the main character, and that, that main character who played your son. He's like a, a stage actor, serious actor, and uh, the scene we were doing together. I mean, I had never really read lines. Yeah. So I, I'm, I read the shit out of my lines. Yeah. And then when it, t- when it gave time to, to do it, I did like five different versions of it. Yeah. And then <laughs> one, he told me to get emotional, and I don't know why the fuck I, I started like. Like to tear up a little bit because he said get emotional. I think that's why you did. <laughs> but I, I didn't. I didn't think I was gonna, you know, oh, take yeah, it there. You didn't think you're gonna be amazing. Yeah, I exactly. And then the guy was like, "Man, are you okay?" <laughs> oh shit! The director was, was like, like, "Quit being a bitch, fool." Being a bitch. <laughs> I think that's the exception, though. If you if you did the work and yeah. you memorize your lines, then you can actually give direction. You could be sure. like, "Do this way, do that way." But a lot of non-actors just don't understand the work it takes before yeah. you even show up. Oh, yeah. So you yeah. can't say like do it this way because then they'll forget their line so you have it, it just can get kind of frustrating unless they're just kind of weirdos and you're just trying to capture that kind yeah. of energy which yeah. works yeah. too but he, obviously yeah, a works. non-actor could work like we were I'm, just talking about yeah. um when the tv show we made called yo mama we cast my <laughs> web uh, series come web series on. sorry well it was made as a, <laughs> a big time <laughs> but we cast my friend this chef is not dave. a time to be humble right yeah. <laughs> yeah. shut up <laughs> well we cast my friend chef dave and he He's a, a, a maniac at the best days and can't memorize more than two words at a time. <laughs> but he's so memorable on camera. Yeah. Yeah. And he's so sweaty and beautiful. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, we put him in a gray shirt. It works. So, but oh you talk God. about continuity. Yeah. He's got four foot pit stains or three foot pit <laughs> Look stains. Look up Yo Mama episode four. Just go to the Chef Dave scene. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and it's it's worth its weight in gold right there. Yeah. it's it's. Uh, You're going to get a lot of Nick Cannon first, but scroll through <laughs> yeah, all the yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mama Apparently, there was an MTV well, show of the same name, <laughs> I've and half of our comments are, "I came and to see the Yo Mama show on MTV, Wait, and I'm very disappointed." Nick Cannon <laughs> looks as bad as I've ever seen him. <laughs> Nick Cannon had a show called Yo Mama. Wasn't yeah. it? Wasn't it? Yeah. The guy no, no, no. It was him? Wilmer. Wilmer Valderrama. Valderrama. Yeah. 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 But They're all Nick the same to you, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't think so. I don't. I could have been. I don't. Or Nick Cannon that. had something similar. It was that. It was that Latino guy. Oh, Wild and Out. Yeah, yeah. Here, where the sketches and and a little bit of rap battles and stuff is a little different than the Yo Mama. I thought that was the same thing. Oh, no, well, no, but the, you did. with the Yo Mama jokes, it was just like two dudes <laughs> yelling Yo Mama jokes at each other. I think. Yeah, yeah I'll, say one episode of that. I'll say this. I'll say this. Like fourteen you guys, episodes. You guys have had experience with this. Every time I've gotten like, uh, <clears throat> whenever I can't do like a gig, I'll pass it on to a comic friend. <laughs> and usually. When I've, I've, you know, I mean, with you, it went well. And other guys I've worked with, like, you know, right, I hear right. good feedback from the director. Hmm. But this last couple of times I've gave, you know, these, these comic friends uh, gigs, I always hear, like, yo, man, your boy's got an attitude problem. Oh, <laughs> or, uh, or he, oh he didn't, yeah. This motherfucker didn't study his lines? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what the thing about hiring yeah. comics is? The, the biggest gripe I have is because you think, like, they got a big following. They're, they're popular. They're, they're going to get us some, some views. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then they'll post, like, hey, check out this movie but then the same day there'll be like six other posts of like <laughs> yeah. come see me friday at the thing come see me saturday they so get it buried. gets buried yeah, so yeah, you don't yeah. really get the yeah. the push that you thought you would get from uh and if it's not their own yeah. lines they're, they're like yeah, i don't want people to watch this yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. that's yeah. or if they weren't happy with how it came out but still you know <clears throat> going back to the announcement because that's how i met you uh, mario told me like hey jd hit me up to do this role yeah. but i don't speak spanish yeah. and that's when i met you mm-hmm. and then uh when they told me about the roles like hey um a christian we, dad with but not only that but he's like so you're gonna be a dad you're gonna have a son i'm like cool yeah no i'm down uh so what, uh, how old my kid is he fifth grade sixth grade uh no this kid's in college i'm like it's believable <laughs> no that's what i said like 
fuck. <laughs> Damn. He told us, he's like, I'm going to be a Christian you, dad. You had him young. You had him You young. had him during Columbine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Columbine made you horny, so you had a kid. <laughs> Whoa. All that heavy metal That's music. That's the new title of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Columbine made you horny. Wow. <laughs> the juggalo life of Jesus Cruz. <laughs> juggalo times. <laughs> juggalo Jesus and racist uh, Matt. Don't forget <laughs> whoop whoop. <laughs> whoop whoop. <laughs> just use all Juggalo. these buzzwords because the jugglers are considered a gang in the yeah. FBI. So just use just use the buzzwords. Yeah. yeah. No one's confusing racist you for Matt being Juggalo. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? You have I got a white friend. You accuse of being racist. We do that to Phil all the time. I'm sorry. See, Phil. See you guys. You guys should take a picture together. <laughs> just look at the sad. American flag in the back or like uh, some other. You know. You guys got a rally later, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're there, right, Phil? <laughs> Are we still doing it? Stop the steal, right? Stop the steal. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All I'm gonna say is, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> I can hear the unsubscriptions right now. Hey, make sure to uh, hit that like button. I can hear smash that click. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We could t- have you guys in a picture together and title it "KKK Member Skinhead." Dang! Let's <laughs> <laughs> get back to Columbine, guys. So, <laughs> it's less offensive. <laughs> Everything, wanna... everything you've ever done. Sorry, this is a compliment. Everything you've ever done. <laughs> oh God, that's not the way to frame no, no, no. it. No, no, I want to hear this. <laughs> everything you've ever done with with Mario has been dope. Mario's like, yeah, he's got he's got a natural yeah. screen presence. Yeah, it's yeah. Just he can do anything like on screen. Yeah. Um, have you guys gonna work with that guy again? Before? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. We wrote um, right before uh, the pandemic. We wrote a uh, like a eleven minute or eleven minute uh, or eleven episodes. I mean, mm-hmm. of the show. <laughs> it's still eleven minutes. It's still eleven minutes total. <laughs> it took two years to write. <laughs> or eleven minutes. Well, yeah. It's, uh, we want Mario. Mario would be a substantial part in that. I think. I wrote something that I want Mario to be, and I and I wrote you in it. Because <laughs> oh. I want him to play Marcos' dad. I don't know why. Like, Mark, I mean, by the way, Marcos is 25 years old. And I'm old as fuck. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Alan. I don't know how old I could have a 25 Marcos year old. Like 25, yeah. 25. Okay, see. Okay. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 41. Okay. So you're 42. Yeah, yeah. You could have had him during Columbine yeah. also. Yeah. 16 year old? I was just getting yeah. busy. <laughs> You it's not it? my real life at all, but <laughs> great script. But we'll go with that. Yeah, why not? This is acting, damn it. Let's you know. Uh, we don't hire actors. <laughs> I played Hamlet and Silmar, so I want some respect. <laughs> God damn it. Did you say Silmar? Silmar. Oh, Silmar. <laughs> what is that? It's uh, exactly. <laughs> it's like but he played Hamlet in it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, the YouTube views and the people in the audience are very similar. I, I did touring Shakespeare, and, and the joke is one of the towns was Silmar, and there was like literally like eight people in the lawn, and oh, wow. so you know, and there was the commercial. I played Hamlet at Cambridge. <laughs> Sorry, my references are all very old, and date me. But this is before Columbine, so. <laughs> so before you were a father. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Have you guys thought about doing my a, 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 uh... a documentary about Columbine? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Done. <laughs> a screening of all your films, like to show a lot of your. Now we oh, we actually did that. We did that in um, okay. San Jose. Uh, shout out to Art Boutique, and we had uh, and Fremont. Fremont. Shout out to Fremont <laughs> Happy Fish Swim School. Yeah. <laughs> Scott Schroeder. But no, we had a we had a. It was a great turnout. We had a lot of people show up. Um, yeah, we showed five films. It was good. A lot of beaners. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of my line cooks were there. Yeah, yeah <laughs> future former. <laughs> Phil Phil wouldn't have a good time. Now. Oh yeah. <laughs> No, it was funny. Uh, he had some of his wrestling friends there. Oh, yeah. And uh, the one, uh, uh, they pick her up and they slam her on the ground. And my line cooks are like, hey, that fool just knocked that girl out. I'm like, no, no, no. It's professional wrestling. Ah, fuck that fool. I seen it. Yeah. <laughs> I seen he hurt her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she, she's like, you know, a feminine girl. And she gets whacked during the shoot by accident. And she and she falls down. And we're like, oh, are you okay? She's like, that was great. Can we do that in the movie for real? Because yeah. she's a wrestler. She yeah. was like, oh. yeah, can we? Can we add this in? <laughs> Train to fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Have you guys gotten hurt doing any of this? It says we're on the subject. Just emotionally. Emo- yeah. <laughs> and, and economically. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, oh, yes, yeah, severely. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's weird. You think that short films are going to pay off in dividends. Yeah. And your reputation is completely ruined now. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Everyone thinks you're racist. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. You'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it all happened before yeah, If he is a racist, he's the most racist Mexican I've ever met in my life. <laughs> yeah, that's saying something. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> uh-huh. I just tried to put it on him, not for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. I just like that you're getting I can all hear the un- I can hear the unfollowed clicks right now on YouTube. <laughs> oh man. So uh, another shot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> then you'll tell well, us how you really feel. It's a good thing we put that disclaimer at the beginning. <laughs> that's why I put the yeah. That's why I put the disclaimer. All right, Mike. Except for <laughs> he said that word earlier, so it's really that doesn't help us with that. Is that, that word. That word. That, that, that word is not bad. Yet. Is, it's not it popular enough. The beans that are delicious. That word. Yeah. Have you, have you pla- are you planning to do another screening though of your of your? Yeah, once we make some new shit. Yeah. I mean, because uh, I mean, post pandemic. <laughs> well, yeah, I just we have out, one movie uh, done. <laughs> San Jose is starting to do a film collective where they're doing they're showing uh, different films, shorts, documentaries. So okay. doing that bridge. Yeah. And you got people yeah. in Richmond that probably haven't seen your stuff. No, I mean they got the the, the peanut butter zombie going. We'll get a couple more going, and and those screenings actually they're the the best thing for promoting. Putting Facebook, Instagram, whatever, yeah. promoting you you get like sympathy likes from your mom or whatever. <laughs> but you actually get people My that mom. watch it when you invite people out because it's a night on the town. Then they'll actually sit there and watch it and enjoy it, and it's it's actually by far the best promotional tool for sure. I've seen. Well, it's funny. Yeah. The one we did, I told the guy, I said, open up early, you know, because you got alcohol, you can sell it. He's like, no, 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 these things never really sell alcohol. He said, you don't know our fan base. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Mexican restaurant across the street did like $400 in sales oh, in an hour. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. just Jesus showing. That's just yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus and Aaron. Make sure there's Modelo's there. <laughs> I've never seen anyone who can black out on Bud Light like this guy. Oh. <laughs> you blacked out on Bud Light? No. <laughs> Not yes. that he remembers. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't remember any of that. <laughs> Sitting on my couch holding yeah. the trash can. <laughs> are we gonna get? Are we gonna get sponsored? Would you feel a little pulling John in? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out oh, to Bud Light. <laughs> no, that's just water. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, uh, we've been at it for an hour now. Um, Good. <laughs> uh, an hour of racism. And, and we're 15 uh, minutes late. <laughs> are you 15 minutes late? Shout out to Columbine. <laughs> Shout out. Oh, man. 15 minutes late, showed up stoned and with a bottle of tequila. Ready to You're stoned? Go. He's not, we are. Oh, you guys are stoned. Okay, okay. Was... Well, he might be. He did take the edibles a while ago. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. I think it's starting to kick in. I didn't know you. Okay, so the day you hosted my show, yeah. I didn't know you were on edibles okay so that's that's a <laughs> okay here's what happened because i want to come back so how many times i've been in the, on the podcast uh, i'm shooting for like 25 two, three, <laughs> three four uh well this one's four. Oh, okay yeah, yeah we've had other guests on more though so you gotta oh god gotta, damn it you gotta bump those numbers <laughs> up bro damien montes probably and they passed no, today no. so you're here no <laughs> damien, damien's been three yeah, no, e- yo, Evan's you, been four. Four. So, okay, yeah. yo guys you're, are tired. Okay, all right, all right. Well, when this thing comes viral, you know, you can invite me back. I'll be here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> only and <laughs> <at> if. <laughs> I'm going to have to make some speeches of declaration. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Uh, I would like to apologize <laughs> for my actions on the voice party. It's got to manifest. You, you should come with a Confederate shirt with oh. sleeves cut off. No, that's, a, that's, that's the only way you'll be able to come that back. That is the World Series. Oh, these are detachable. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you have to sing. You have to whistle Dixie too when you. Yeah. <laughs> Wish I was in the land of cotton. <laughs> oh, and, damn. and next okay. time you'll be sitting next to. A I'm Marcus. surrounded by racists. <laughs> I'm from the South, so I kind of get to sing. Oh, yeah. He's, 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 you kind of get to <laughs> sing. You kind of. <laughs> <laughs> they don't believe in it down there. You can sing a bit on the receiving end. Different flavors of racism. That's what this episode is going to be called. <laughs> All colors of the shit. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> put homenaje a Vicente Fernandez. <laughs> you want to get clicks? You put homage to Vicente Fernandez. We just passed away. Brrr. You name it something very clickbaity, the real reason Vicente died. <laughs> like, yeah, let's, let's dig into it. Vicente died, and then we discovered this. <laughs> he died in Columbine. <laughs> He's been dead all along. <laughs> COVID, hell no, fool. This is Columbine. Okay. Wait, did he die of COVID? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. No, I was just. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. 
<laughs> Come on, man. That's too soon. That's too soon. <laughs> no, I don't know why. He, uh, he got the know. booster shot and the uh, side effects <laughs> caught him. <laughs> oh, man. What did, what, why did he die? Like, what happened? He had complications from a uh, fall that he had uh, months ago. Oh, he fell? Yeah. Alex, yeah. don't laugh. Okay. Matt pushed him. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, nah, he fell. Everyone Phil knows that he fell. Phil was like, I'm out for it. Phil, <laughs> Phil, Rick, him. Phil gave me the signal. It was like a <laughs> Phil recorded it for evidence for his brothers. <laughs> Vincente fell, and then this happened. You guys body slammed him for one of your films, uh, and he fucking. Oh this was a beautiful tribute. I mean, look, look what we did. Look what we did. One more shot will fix yeah, it. Yeah, fix it out. Salud. <laughs> you want one more shot? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, yeah. I'm gonna have one because I have to drive these. Oh, he doesn't care about them, so. I, I haven't what? finished my first, so I'll just wait. I'll just drink this with the rest. Of I'll, I'm just, drink, I'll, I'll just drink, drink the, the bottle, and, and, and that'll I'll, be I'll it. I'll do the last one with these guys. Yeah. With my yeah. two racist friends. <laughs> oh my goodness. On Vicente's death. We talking about racism. Uh, we got. I'll. I'll. I'll, I'll oh, sorry. Oh, 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 that's, see, that's what you're That's you why Alex That's not the move. That's why <laughs> you're getting cackling. That was my fault. See. And hums and hisses. <laughs> that was that was a pour out though, right? Thanks for the homies. <laughs> yeah. Tequila on the yeah. cords though. I'm sorry. It'll probably help. They're the shielded, cord, you know. It's, uh, <clears> it'll <throat> probably help the cord. Now, yeah. now you got a super well, cable. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely have you guys back. Uh, here's to me. Uh, cheers. 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 Salud. So, when when can we? Where can people follow you before we drink? Running this? Chef Productions on YouTube and Instagram and uh, Facebook. Facebook. And when's your upcoming? Any upcoming things you uh, should expect? The uh, peanut butter and zombie is getting Pe- color corrected. <laughs> What's that called? <laughs> peanut butter and zombie. It's okay. A, when do you see the movie? Don't make okay, sense. Okay. 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 And check it, out my. Movie. Uh, check, check out Dirty Skies. I got the Dirty uh, Skies on all the they're doing platforms. Uh, Vicente Fernandez covers. Yes, yes. They're all. It's all Vincent. It's a Vincente Fernandez <laughs> cover Matt band. Matt pushed him and Phil helped. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you got the Vicente uh, thing going on right there. there. You go. uh, I got a. Uh, I got a book of poetry coming out. Oh, Shout nice. out to uh, oh. Crooked Press. Uh, <laughs> What's it called? All these dirty Mexicans. <laughs> no, <it's>, uh, <laughs> That's the sequel. <laughs> it's, it's Hispanic haikus. No, it's called... Uh, How to Kill Mexicans in a Kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> if I did do it... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's called um, uh, Poems, Not in a Bad Way, though. Okay, okay. And uh, you can get copies December 15th at uh, crookedthievespress.com. Nice. So. Also, nice. follow Alma Jackson, yes. Fried Chicken, because yeah. he's a fucking, he's a decent cook. Decent cook. <laughs> yeah, I'm an no, that chicken fucking, will change your life, for sure. Guy. For sure. That chicken will change your life. Thank you. Yeah, follow me, Alma Jackson's Fried Chicken for uh, Fried Chicken. And last time I saw this fucking... I told him he's a he's a voice party member now, but he rejected me. So I did. Fuck him. <laughs> he probably just clicked it wrong. He's drinking Bud Light. I don't believe in gangs. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Fuck you, Phil. Uh, that's been the voice party. We're out. And everybody say fuck Phil. Come on, you don't want to join the Wu Tang podcast. <laughs>